Does your Tupperware cabinet look like this? Mine did until I decided to take some time, about 15 to 20 minutes, and actually organize it. Come along with me and see how I did it. Now I have the table all cleaned off, I've wiped it down, I'm gonna start putting all of these containers onto the table. I'm gonna organize them as I go so that when at the end I decide to put them together, it's easier to find. I put the containers on one side and I put the lids on the other and then I have a lot of miscellaneous pitchers and water bottles that I'll put off to the side as well. I have a ton of lids. I don't know if your Tupperware cabinet is like that, but I have a ton of lids. It's kinda of like that missing sock syndrome where I feel like I put the container with the lid into the cabinet, and then when I go back to the cabinet to get them out to use, I can only seem to find the lid. I cannot seem to find the container. And you'll see that at the end too that I end up having quite a bit of lids left over. This cabinet, I am so excited to clean. It has been the lower end of my priority list because my daughter considers it like a toy cabinet. When I'm washing dishes, it's kind of like her safe place and that's where she sits and will play with my Tupperware. I don't mind because it's not glass. So now that she seems to be not playing it as much, I've decided to actually take the time and organize. Now I'm at the back of the cabinet where a lot of the stuff hasn't been used in about a year. It's got all of our miscellaneous items, like ice cube trays we don't use, a cup from an amusement park, of course more lids, a scale box with no scale in it, more containers, a lot of the lids that go to our miscellaneous stuff. These bean pots, we love these bean pots, but we don't use them as much. An apron that my daughter likes to use when we bake. And so now I'm just gonna continue to take this stuff out and get it to the table so that we can make sure that I have everything out of it so that then I can clean it and get it organized before I put everything back. So the last bit of this is stuff we really don't use. Uh, sandwich cutter that we haven't used ever. They don't work for me. And then this cup I've actually been looking for. They're great from Ikea. Now I'm going to finish putting the rest of the stuff that was in the bottom of that cabinet and bringing it to the table. And I want to first apologize when I was filming this. I did not realize that when I brought it back from filming the bottom of the cabinet, I didn't move it back into widescreen. Um, I didn't realize it till halfway through, so I can't change it. I already had it organized, so bear with me. I am happy that it still got the majority of the table, so you can see how I organize it. So right now I'm just going to start bringing, I'm bringing all that stuff over to the table. And once it's at the table, I have thought the best way to organize it for me is to match the lid with the container and then stack them that way. I spent a lot of time looking on Pinterest, Googling to determine the best way that I wanted to organize my cabinet. There are so many different ways that you can do it. You can do it by getting containers, which I did go to Walmart and even the Dollar Tree to look to see what I could use. And you can organize the lids by size and then your containers by size. And you make the baskets you'll use for your lids so that you can find them and then the containers you can stack one inside of the other. That looked good, but I was scared I was still gonna end up with more lids, as you can see, than I have containers. And I didn't wanna do that. I figured if they're stacked, on top of each other with the lid attached to it, when I go to look for it, it's already together. So there's less likely that I'll end up with more lids than I do containers. So that's the way that I did it. As you see, as I continue to go through and pick out and put together, I find little toys that my daughter had inside that she'd put in some of these cups or bean pots. She actually really liked playing with the bean pots too. I also had quite a thing, quite a few things that were broken in here. So I made a trash pile. So anything that was broken we wouldn't use or haven't used went to the trash. Things that we just don't use, they're either too big and we don't have room for them 
or it's a container with no lid I put somewhere else so that I could give it away then the water bottles I stacked over there on my desk so that I could kind of get an idea of how much I have afterwards and then find the permanent location for them as I find the lid that matches with the container I'm putting the lid on it and I'm making a pile so that I have an idea of what I have then once I have them done I can start putting them away So now I've realized that I was losing the widescreen. So I fixed it and I'm just finishing up with all of my Tupperware containers as you can see over there on the side. I have found quite a bit of lids that match my containers and I've started making a stack pile. Now what I'm left with is all of the lids. These are all of the lids I do not have containers for. I cannot believe that I had this many lids. It was crazy. Now some of them, I got a ton, so this Christmas, I told quite a few people that I was lacking in Tupperware so I had quite a few people actually get me Tupperware for Christmas and some of them are still in the box so some of these lids I did end up finding the correct container for they were just still in the Tupperware box that they came in at Christmas time as I was showing that was a cookie cutter for sandwiches that I never used I tried to use them and I just it would never cut the way that it could and I don't know what my dog is doing I think she's chasing her tail those are cool popsicle things that I was using uh, that I think I'm going to use this summer. So now I have all of the lids in the middle of the table and I'm just trying to figure out what else I have. I also found a Lego in the pitcher that I had to put away. Ice cube trays. We actually have an ice cube maker now so we don't need those so I'm going to donate those. Then the pitchers we do use sometimes so they are going to be put back in the container. And the apron I took back to my daughter's room so she could put it with her costumes. So now that every container has a lid, I'm ready to start putting it back in the cabinet and getting it organized for everyday use. The first thing I want to do is take my thieves cleaner, which I use to clean everything, and clean down the cabinet so that when I put these containers in there, it's not going back into a dirty area. It's been cleaned. Every time I organize or I move something, I try to make sure that I clean it, either by wiping it down with thieves spray, vacuuming it just depends on what I've moved and where it's going but I always make sure when I'm gonna put something back I've cleaned that area so that it doesn't need to, it's not going back into a dirty area now it is ready to put the containers back in there now I'm gonna start bringing the containers over so that I can start stacking them what I think is best the top one because it's smaller I decided to use that for most of the miscellaneous and circle shaped cat containers for the bottom I have a lot of square and kind of rectangle containers because they're great for salads and stuff like that so I'm using the bottom for all of the square and rectangular ones and then the top is going to be circle and miscellaneous
as you can see, I kind of go back and forth on what I think is best. I do like to have the bigger ones in the back so that they are easier to see from the front. Once I've put things in front of it, I kind of like to go from largest to biggest. And then the pitchers I decided would go great on top too because I don't have as many circular containers so I can see those as well and there's plenty of room along with the bean pots. The bean pot in the top actually is so that if my daughter gets in here she won't see them as much so she won't pull them down because I've had two broke because she's wanted to play with them and the handle has broke off. Now this is what it looks like that I'm all done. This is before I go through the boxes of Tupperware that I got at Christmas time. This is just like right after I matched up the containers with the lids. Now this is what it looks like after I went through. I had three boxes that I got at Christmas time between picking one up at Black Friday and then two other people giving me some at Christmas time. I was able to match up the remaining lids, not all of them. I still had a handful of lids that did not have containers that I had to trash. And then this is what I have afterwards. So I was able to still stack the circle ones on top along with my miscellaneous containers. And then on the bottom I have all of my square and rectangular ones which are easier to use. I do like this method of organizing. The only thing that I don't like is because they're stacked a little bit higher. When I want something in the back, I have to go through everything that's in front of it. But in order to meet my objective of wanting to keep more lids with containers, this has worked for that. So I am happy with the way that I have organized it. So I hope that was helpful for you. I am super happy to have my Tupperware cabinet organized. It's something that has been like in the back of my mind for a year now. It's kind of the cabinet that I let my daughter just play in. And lately she hasn't played in it as much as she used to. So I figured now is the time to get it organized. And I was able to do it within her nap time. All of that, all of this was done during her nap time. So it's the easiest way that I can get most of my cleaning done. And uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm really doing it to hold myself accountable to actually getting it done because I put a lot of things on my list and then I kind of push them to the side and don't get them done. So this is one way that I can make sure it gets done is accountability of putting it up here. So I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave it in the comment below and subscribe. Thanks.